first alert weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, first alert meteorologist Pete Bouchard is back with us. We got a decent weekend, a tough week, but then the eclipse is going to look pretty good. So it's all a mixed Great. bag, Pete. It looks awesome. I'm really psyched about it. Yeah, we get into a warming trend too, Glenn. So it's cake and eat it too. All right, so it's been a wet March. We know that. Uh, does it rank up there in the top 10? We cracked the top 10. We're number six. 2024 with almost nine inches. Not as rainy as 2010. Do you remember that month in March in that year? Wow, it was a tough one. 15 inches of rain. Anyway, drying out a decent weekend. Easter forecast. The showers are diminishing. Many of us will not even see them. They seem to be darting down through Buzzards Bay and then offshore at the very northernmost extent. Most of them around New York City very, very early in the morning. And then a brewing storm next week. It does seem like a nor'easter. It does seem like it's going to sit in the Gulf of Maine. And there are issues with that, too. By the way, this became a pretty sizable nor'easter as it went into Nova Scotia. And there's snow flying across northern Maine still. We are still in the cloud cover from that. These are the clouds that may approach late tomorrow and tomorrow evening, kind of spread out. That weather system will be weakening as it comes eastbound. We like that. 43 in Boston, 37 in Worcester. Water temperature hasn't moved really in, what, a month, two months almost? It's been right around 40 degrees. The wind chill factor, there is a little bit of one. It feels like 27 in Worcester and 34 downtown, 33 in Lawrence and 37 in Plymouth. Keep that in mind when you step outside tomorrow morning. These winds are still going all across New England. We're wrapped up in that storm system captured by its wind field. And tomorrow will be part of it, too, through the night into tomorrow. The only issue here is that, you know, if you're outside, it'll feel a little cool. Otherwise, the temperatures come back into the 50s and there'll be plenty of sunshine, fair weather clouds. Later in the evening, the winds back off. The sun is the aggravating factor here. It does mix the air, makes it more turbulent when it's out. So that when it goes down, the winds start to collapse. Brief morning sprinkle is possible on Sunday, but let's look at this right here. Here it is at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., maybe down through Providence and out through Chatham. Otherwise, the rest of us just with clouds around 5 a.m. Are you up that early? Maybe. And then the clouds depart. And there's your Sunday forecast looking pretty good. There are some fair weather clouds that do pop up in the afternoon, but ah, that's not a problem at all. And the winds are a lot lighter, too. So Sunday's forecast now vastly improving over the last couple of days. 40 in the morning, 51, and then 56, 57, 58. Perhaps, yeah, because the winds are collapsing, there's not as much, much mixing. So you can get that sun to work in our favor and maybe top out at 58 even in the city. That's nice, huh? 90% uh, chance that we run into rain on Wednesday and then Thursday, too. This is not what you want to see. This kind of jet stream with a cutoff low is what we call it. It's cut off from the jet stream. Jet stream's up here. So then you have the storm left to wander. And we don't like wandering storms because they can do kind of sinister things. This one goes into the Gulf of Maine and intensifies. And therein lies the issue. This is overdone, showing the snow all the way back down into Connecticut. Right? Right, mostly. I do believe we will see rain in Boston, the North Shore, the South Shore, too. But it could be elevation snow, meaning back through the Worcester Hills, we'd have our best chance for seeing accumulation snow. And it may be a few inches, too. Keep the plows handy and the snow blowers too, in those communities. Central Mass, Greater Worcester. Uh, after that, we bounce back, and here we go, into the 50s and 60s by the eclipse day. Things are looking good. We're back after the break.